Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Golden Boy, and we're here to talk about all the latest in the world of gaming and esports today. So this one's going to be a very Fortnite-heavy uh, edition of the show because a lot of stuff has recently surfaced about Fortnite. Uh, no more Battlefront talk. I'm past that now. We all have to move on from it, people. You know, Battlefront comes out pretty soon. I'll be playing it on stream as well. But I did want to talk about Fortnite because there's some pretty exciting things that are going to be coming to Fortnite, both competitively and for everyone else in the very near future. So firstly, and this one, you know, will relate to the actual game itself. There was a new dev update put out by Epic Games that addressed some of the questions that the community had about the the current state of Fortnite. For example, there was a question about the rocket riding, which has become very popular. You've seen a lot of cool clips about it pop up on Twitter, uh, YouTube, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it seems like Epic wants to support that. They say it, it's like a happy accident, you know. So shout out to my boy Bob Ross over there. And it's something that they did not intend but they are going to support it. So they're not going to remove the rocket riding from the game. They're going to keep it in there. And honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy. You know, this is like reminiscent and not entirely, but reminiscent of the Halo 2 BXR days when those button gombos came out. It really just added something cool to the game. And I think that this new feature with the rocket riding does do exactly that because not only can you use it as an aggressive fighting tool, but you can also use it as a traversal tool. And, and it's also a, a sacrifice right because if you shoot your rocket and your teammate ends up going to carajo land well guess what you you don't have your teammate there anymore if he's dead then that's it you're on your own also epic did talk about a ptr they are going to be releasing a player test realm this is you know very reminiscent of what we've seen in other games in the past uh they call it ptr pts you know whatever a test server you guys know exactly what this is and essentially this is going to be where epic decides to tweak and change some of the elements of the game. And one thing that they are talking about is weapon tuning. Uh, a common complaint in Fortnite is that the weapons, while they're fun to use, sometimes they, they're really frustrating to use at the same time, right? Because you'll have your sights set on someone, you start shooting, and then your bullets are just going off into like Antarctica and Alaska and all that different, and, and like no one likes that. No one wants their bullets to go out there into the matrix. They want the bullet to land on the person that they're shooting at. So they're going to address that. And I'm really curious to see what those changes are going to look like because they have done weapon tuning in the past and it hasn't really changed all that much about the game. But I do believe, though, that with the player test realm and getting that active feedback from the community, that we are going to see a, a much more robust lineup of changes coming through from Epic that is impacted by the community so kudos to epic on that one and lastly they talked about bringing in a new weapon into fortnite the silenced smg so typically when you get shot you'll get like a notification and it seems like when you're shot with this silenced smg and i could be wrong here you don't get that indicator as to where you're getting shot from you also don't get the audio indicator as to where you're getting shot from smgs are also going to be receiving a significant buff which are desperately needed because right now if i see an smg in a pistol i go for the the pistol every time pistol by the way is badass in this game okay and if you ain't using a pistol and you're not about that life you're doing it wrong homie but we're finally going to get the adjustments to the smg i mean i've been in battles by the way where like i've had an smg and a person has had a shovel and they almost killed me like that shouldn't that shouldn't be possible you know and i know you're gonna say oh but golden boy you suck like why are you so terrible i'll be like listen fam it's because the smg is butt cheeks so i'm glad that they're looking to make those adjustments and i hope that they are significant enough that make people want to pick it up. And in the last bit of news, and this is gonna be a much more overarching topic here, is that Fortnite will be making their way to DreamHack Winter. DreamHack Winter, one of the most prestigious events, it's just a fun event in general. I had a chance to go and commentate Battlefield at DreamHack Winter in Yongchipping, Sweden, many years ago, and it's an awesome place, and it seems like Fortnite is gonna be making an esports debut there. And I use the air quotes because this isn't like some big official esports competition, but rather, it just seems like an activity for fans of Fortnite to do at DreamHack, which is pretty cool. And then it will lead to like a, a finale where like the players will play against each other. It very much feels like it's going to be one of those BYOC tournaments that happen to bring your own computer competitions that take place at DreamHack, which is perfectly fine, of course. There will be, and this was the interesting part, it seemed like admins will be hosting custom servers. And this is something that a lot of the community has been asking for. And I know for myself, I've been asking for it for quite some time now, is the ability to host 
host my own server and invite people and just host my own tournaments. We know that Epic has the tools for Spectator through the Unreal Engine because of games like Paragon. So because of that, I have no doubt in my mind that they're working on some kind of Spectator mode for Fortnite. And I would really hope to see it sooner rather than later because I think the time to capitalize on Fortnite's popularity as a game and potentially as an eSport is now. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say, but Golden Boy, Battle Royale games aren't eSports. And I think to that, I would say, you're wrong. Reason being is very simple. If people have a desire to compete and if other people wanna be better than others, it's very clear that you could just make it happen, right? I know that seems like an overly simplified uh, topic or an oversimplification of the topic, and, and it probably is, but Battle Royale games and just really games in general, if people want to compete, they will find a way to compete against one another so long as the tools are available and present. We saw this happen with H1Z1. We saw it happen with Battlegrounds as well. And we're going to see it happen with Fortnite. It's only a matter of time. And if you also think about what's crazy here is that this game came out not too long ago, Fortnite Battle Royale. It, it was or like maybe two, three months now. And it's already a big game. This game has a ton of potential. And we're already seeing a lot of players and streamers take advantage of this and show their skills off. So why not open the floodgates for competitive Fortnite, for Fortnite esports? I think Battle Royale esports is going to be a huge thing. And everyone's been saying this as well. So it's not necessarily like the hottest take on planet Earth. Battle Royale games attract many different kinds of fans. Fans of Twitch broadcasters, fans of YouTube content creators, fans of just competitive players, and also casuals, because a guy who may not be the greatest player in the world could actually win a Battle Royale game. And for a lot of die-hard esports fans, especially folks from the old guard, they probably look at that and say, ah, oh, that's terrible, they, that shouldn't be the case, skill should always win. And so that I do kind of sort of agree, but like, why not, right? Why not? Let's see where it goes. Let's make the settings. Let's test it out. Let's see how this can work in a competitive environment because I think this is the kind of game that anyone can get into. It's like Rocket League. Any person can watch Rocket League and immediately understand what they're what they're looking at. And it's the same thing for a Battle Royale game. I think it's the same thing for a fighting game as well. You look at Street Fighter. It's one guy versus another guy. Beat the crap out of each other, and that's the point of the game. And for a Battle Royale game, it's survival of the fittest. Who doesn't understand that concept? I would like to see Fortnite kind of take that leap and go in that direction. And I think they're very capable of doing so. It's epic games, for Christ's sake. They were making a competitive game with Paragon. They just so happened to stumble upon this big thing with Fortnite. So why not? Why not? Let's just see what happens because there's clearly a desire from people to take their game to the next level. You sprinkle some prize money on that son bitch and you good to go. So that's going to be where I leave it today. I want to know what you guys think about this topic. Do you think that a game like Fortnite, do you think that battle royale games in general could be considered an esport down the line or do you think it's already a legitimate esport? Let me know in the comment section down below. And remember, this is a conversation with you guys. I want to know what you have to say. So, you know, leave those lengthy comments down there. I'm going to read them. I'm going to reply to them. And thank you so much to those of you guys who commented on my previous videos and really brought in that conversation because that's what this is all about. If you happen to enjoy this video, hit the like button. Slap that bad boy nice and good. And if you happen to like the content that I'm making on this channel, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, baby? It's free. It's easy. All you got to do is hit that giant red button down below and then you subscribe and then you find out when I'm going to upload a video because apparently I'm doing YouTube a little bit more now and it's pretty damn fun. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Golden Boy and I'll catch you on the other side.